All right, uh, excuse my cold, but we're just gonna have to make do. So this is this uh, Apex Fly DG something controller. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's got all sorts of buttons, standard Xbox, and you also have these two, well, four triggers on the back side. So all this is customizable. Let me show you how this, uh, this works. Now, if you try to pair a regular Xbox or a PS4 controller, what's really annoying is that you have uh, basically the this the look button is messed up. So if you look this way, that's looking left, that's looking right. Uh, this one you have con complete control over the interface, so we can do whatever we want. Um, and the nice thing here is I have these four buttons on bottom. I can shoot all of these weapons individually. Now, with igniters, something like this, it's cool because I can just run my three igniters. If I just tap each one of them, then I could hold the third one and it still shoots like you would if you're doing the regular interface. Uh, it's a little bit troublesome to set up, but it's not too bad. You just have to be um, patient with it. The worst thing is you accidentally use a lot of power cells because you're pulling the wrong trigger um, often. So what we got here is, what else did I need to show you? Now, the big thing about this is previous controllers is it's nearly impossible to use your joystick to aim, especially when your target is moving chaotically um, and the targeting sucks and just a lot going against you. Um, and you just you want this to be pretty coarse movement in the past I would have to use my finger to aim uh, Do the fine adjustment so here? I still have the fi fine adjustment or the coarse adjustment that I need to look around quickly and um, Now the key though is I mapped a to controller tilt um, So now by holding a I am aiming as fine as I want with the tilt of this controller um, that has been the only way I've been able to find, only way I've been able to get this controller to work nearly flawlessly, and I'm super happy with that discovery. So um, with that being said, I would highly recommend this controller to anybody that's really looking at it. So right now I have mapped, um, this is shoot, top is shoot, the um, left, bottom right is the change target, I have this is my ability um, and then here's my phase shift or my power cells I didn't map the Titan yet um, so that's an issue um, but I haven't really been running them so it's not really an issue uh, but you can see let's just change one of these bots really quick you can see I can run and I just hit my ability instantaneously teleport back there's no it's really pretty flawless the only issue that I do run into is if you start shooting and then you hit if you start shooting and then well I guess it's not gonna do the test I noticed that as long as you hold a and you shoot um, they kind of always they shoot exactly where you want sometimes though um, See how I'm not actually pulling a trigger, but it's stuck on fire. And that drives me insane because you're like trying to look and you're like, I don't want to waste my bullets. And then you're shooting the wall and then you come around the corner and you have no ammo. Um, but as long as I have my aim button going, I can fire, you know, right when I want to put a shot down. I don't have to worry about tapping things and screwing around. So uh, you're way more efficient on ammo and life is good when that's the case let me go ahead and run one so you can see me uh, steer this thing around hopefully you can uh, see it I don't know I'm, uh, just do beacon rush now one other thing is if I move this um, joystick on this screen I accidentally select my leech or something and that's usually a bad thing so you have to be careful on that that's one of the downfalls um, but here we go so and I've pretty much gotten used to just going right there so I'm gonna go right side 
I have no idea if you're going to be able to hear me or what, but I sure hope so. And look, I have lots of team. Oops, running into the thing. So I can use this for the course, which is really nice. Um, and I do have to occasionally reset, you know, when you're changing around. So, Phantom, I'm going to let that guy hang out just a moment. Let's see. Have this, and I can cycle through all these targets. Well, targeting still sucks, but abilities on cooldown. Boom. And nice thing about the controller is you choose to lock it. And look, I can weave, bob, and weave all day long, no problem. Um, especially with a bot like this, which is so fast. Now I'm going to get out of there. Phantom, you know, I'm never stopping on the Phantom. If I'm in trouble, it just always teleport away. I don't know. Was that? Probably hiding the um, controller from the camera. So, you know, notice there, since I have a button to choose targeting, I can, um, you know, basically always have a lock on. I don't have to worry um, about it doing um, switching targets when I don't want it to. And now I just reload, easy peasy, no problem. Now I'm going to go get some. That's a leech. Worry about the leech. Don't want to do that. And I didn't stop when I was teleporting. I just kept running at an angle. And then you just run into the wall. But at least you're safe. So. Here we go. I was only out getting a call. So I know a leech. Oh. See that? That was a quick ability shift. Um, or target shift. Okay. I know. But. Oops. Whoops, that was bad. Okay, I'm gonna target this guy in the back. That guy's got his ability. This guy should be done here any moment. Oh. So hopefully everybody saw that. Um, just with the tilting, I know it was pretty desperate there at the end there. But desperate times leads for desperate something something or innovation desperate desperations the mother of invention or anywho it's the cold uh so obviously i don't know this game that was first well insta lock so i'm not too worried Oop, now i'm worried it's a lot of damage but i'm gonna just automatically lock got two seconds and notice i'm just Trying to be moving away from fire by the time. Ooh, God, okay. Now I just reload, but now I'm only reload firing the igniters, and I'm letting my uh, Corona reload too, so it's super fancy there, which is nice. Instead of firing everything at the same time, so just gonna. Now I forgot to change targets because I'm a total noob. But... I'm not even going to phase shift. I don't care. So that is the only thing is I have to use my hands a little bit to interact with it, but no problem. I mean, there are worse things. It's worse. Why am I... Hopefully, I'm going to have to do this again. I'm sure of it. No, I'm not. I think happy thoughts. Because, okay. I'm just milking that shield, but now I know it's about over. Oh, pay shift. Oh, okay, this is a problem. This is a problem. Ooh. 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 Okay, phase. I didn't want to lose the last sand yet. Kidoki. I think that guy's probably looking the other direction, so I'm going to shoot him. I don't want to lose that last stand yet. Ooh. Damn it. Damn it. So I'm just walking like I'm moving. I'm kind of doing circles. That keeps my legs all lined up. Any moment this person wants to land, there's a phase shift. I'm screwed. Ooh, see that shield? This guy could have saved me a little bit more, but he didn't want to charge his purple shield. 
Now this is going to be a problem. Oh, nice thing about the controller is I can go ahead and tap that sucker. Oh, it's a big thing. I haven't seen one of those up close in the wild like. So I got pretty good aim here. No complaints. I don't even know what that is. Probably, oh, it's bulwark for sure. Um, so I'm going to use my ability, my power cell ability. And try to hang on that edge to get more shots, but no such luck. So what are we doing? We are a little bit behind here. Doing okay on beacons, but I'm, oh, looks like we're still 5-5. Five to five. Feeling really good. Okay. Shoot this guy. I'm just talking. Anybody that's played with me in real life knows that I, every word of mine is cherished very deeply. So, and I just get in the habit of like doing this like circle because if an Avenger tries shooting at me, uh, anti-stealth, then I'm going to be in trouble. But I landed poorly, and so I deserve this. Hopefully last stand will save me. Last no skill will save me. Okay, so it looks like they're running out of bots. I'm worried about that areas on the left, but I'm pretty sure they are busy, so I want to just help with this Falcon. Ooh, don't have any ammo. Oh, it's another. Ooh, so I'm going to try to run over to this cover. Golly, I hope I didn't. So you see how I was shooting when I was still looking around? That's a little bit of a side effect, but it could be worse. So I can't flip that because there's a guy. He's on that one. Hopefully it's not a Mercury because that one would be sending me bad feelings. <laughs> okay. Poor everybody listening to this. That's annoying. Okay. Well, they want to stay there, but they can't do both. I'm worried about that being a jumpy or a fly bot. So, flip this one. They're going to have to run a long way to get to this. So, we're just going to play beacons. I don't know. Looks like that person took some damage, and I think I've just been holding the. Oh, that's an Aries. Okay, let's see what this one is. Oh, Falcon. Oh, I should have known that. Just strafing. Just happy little strafing. Doing my best here. I mean, there's no point in me, like, wiggling so much against the glory because they are. Gonna pretty much get every shot on. Don't want to get too close. Avengers with shop grouping are pretty much 100% at 200 meters, so as long as I keep away. Now, I should have some teammates flipping beacons. Maybe? Nope. What the fudge? Okay. Oh, that was a little panic ability. Got scared. So they added these like hooks on the bottom of this thing, which is annoying. So now you can't fly out of there. I am horribly, oh, it's that, got it. Okay, so he's going for center. No way that they're gonna be able to flip enough beacons. And if I want, I can get this one to just end this one. Ooh, that was a 10 minute game for your viewing enjoyment. Ooh. Just barely missed the big red circle. See, I should have been reloading this whole time, too. Again. Noob. Okay, hopefully that turned out, but I'm about done with this. As I bump. So overall, yes, I really like this thing way better than anything else. I could go really quickly through. Um, so damage even though oh wow seven beacons too i guess that's just at the end um so how to get this thing to work is uh you download this app that is hiding here 
Um, it's really annoying because it doesn't twist, but whatever. Um, so you have four robots, and you just upload this image, and then you can map. Oh, there's a start button from the menu. Then you map all of your buttons um, to the different placements. So basically, you say A, or you say left trigger is a tap in that corner. And so what I could do here, uh, I can make another... Um, video on how to adjust all this but like so I have all this adjustment so I can close this thing move things around um, notice here the key here is that each one of these are in continuous with 30 click smacks because sometimes if you don't have an that set the button cancels um, or it doesn't cancel but it just stops working even though you're holding that down so I'm canceling that I have RB in the center again double click you see that we're at click set max um, cancel I don't want to mess with anything these two the left bumper it's just instant click I just need the one click um, again this should be instant uh, so notice this one is tricky you have to have it right in the center click on that radius I set it to 35 um, it's in this moving thing um, and I guess all that's that but so moving and then R right stick is this perspective oh no that doesn't even matter so here I have it at 20 should go in the settings and show you my sensitivity there but 20 is the sensitivity um, that works pretty well just for quick movements um, X and B are actually swipe options I don't use them anymore because it works so much well this is what I was using before but you basically simulate a swipe to do a quick change like a 90 degree turn don't use them at all because everything else works so well um, and then the, this is the winner, this A button. Notice it's FPS, sensing view, and I have this to 25, 25, 25, 25, um, and this lets me do the tilt. And that's really what makes this thing um, shine. So what I could do is I can hit test. Um, so notice, here's a good test. You just wanna make sure that you're using this whole thing and that your button, this is acting where your finger is. You wanna make sure that you're kinda you're going to the extremes of this thing, so you're actually moving at top speed. Um, notice how slow that is. That's this one. So if I hold A, pretty fast, and I can do fine adjustments. So um, works really well. Uh, you can see triggers on that one. Under things, all hit. That's a little bit tricky to get the hang of holding this thing and hitting the under things. Um, fire, so see, right trigger is that one. Um, this is my ability and this is my power cells. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. So what I would do here, cancel the test, then I would just say apply. Um, and then I think you have to hit this save. Um, current configuration is saved and blah, blah, blah. And then you hit confirm. So whenever you change, you just go in here, you move a new button and then you hit the save button, click confirm and everybody is happy. Um, now I should, I could do a video when I update the Titan, but all I have to do really is add another button for here. And like that would be, let's just say we have the image. Let's just guess. I'm, I have an image, but, um, I don't want to. So I go into adjust and then, um, Y, I'm not using Y. So I take Y. I'm just going to guess maybe right there. It seems about right. Um, and I'm going to say that is my instant click, confirm. Um, I could test, boom, 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 Y is dropping right there. That's good. And then all I would do is save it as is going to change the name. It's also cool. You got all these other extensions. I don't even know. Combinations are cool. You could do macros and all a bunch of stuff. But War Robots is simple and you're just using your thumbs. And now you got a controller, which you're using more fingers it's fun so apply then I save this here confirm and that's all it takes um, I like to close I did have um, one issue where occasionally the um, app would lock up the screen um, and I couldn't actually walk and that's only happened once I just restarted everything closed the app and everything was fine so um, that's just something otherwise no complaints
Dang it, I can't drop a Titan right off the bat, can I? Fudge. Okay, not worth testing, but I'll test it again. And then, and it's actually, you know, super ha super easy. So anyways, I got nothing else. Please let me know if you have any questions. Go Thunder or something.